I can't seem to get this fucking video down right. I wanted to address some complaints that I have received in several of the video comment sections recently. First off, some people out there have said that I um, tenaciously hold on to wrong uh, conclusions that I have come to, and they often tell me, you are wrong. When I solicit specifics, please tell me exactly what I am wrong, because I don't want to continue to be wrong, I want to be corrected. One of two things happens. The person vanishes utterly, because the person can't point to anything that I've said wrong, presumably. Or they merely reassert that I am wrong, and then vanish. I have no emotional investment in anything that I have said in my videos. Show to me that free energy, for example, is possible, and I will promptly make a video saying I was wrong. Show me, for another example, that the Sinister Scientology Corporation's Narconon scam is safe, or is effective, or both, and I will immediately, immediately leap in front of my camera and admit I am wrong, and I'll post that video goddamn quick. I just want to see some evidence I'm wrong. I will admit I am wrong. It's no skin off my nose. Show me I'm wrong. I'll admit I'm wrong. I've said this many times. I wanted to specifically redress two specific um, criticisms that I've received recently. The first one said that I hold the laws of physics dogmatically. Why? Golly, I guess I do! It's just a character flaw that I have, I guess. Not only do I obey the laws of physics dogmatically, but I insist everybody else does, by gods. How does one not obey the laws of physics dogmatically? The second one, somebody has said that I have been inconsistent in asserting that magnetic fields do not contain energy, but magnets do. Okay, if you want to be sacrosanct with specificity, then yes, magnets contain atomic energy. However, the clowns that make idiotic YouTube videos out there and make idiotic magnetic devices out there in the real world aren't building super cool super colliders to smash atoms or fuse atoms and generate or I should say release energy from magnetic alloys. They are gluing permanent magnets onto wheels or rotors and putting them in a magnetic field expecting them to rotate when every physicist and every engineer on the fucking planet and I'm sure a great many other planets out there insist and they are correct it won't rotate unless you put energy into the system I suggest electricity I never said magnets do not contain energy I said magnetic fields do not contain energy for you clowns out there who do not know the difference and insist that the free energy cultists are really doing something worthwhile, I ask you, why are they using permanent magnets and not cheesy crackers? Cheesy crackers have the same atomic energy in them that magnets do. Note I said magnets. Iron. Uh, derivatives of iron. Cheesy crackers! They have atomic energy in them, by gods. Nobody said otherwise. The issue is magnetic fields, which is what the clowns out there believe they can force to uh, disobey the laws of physics and the laws of the fucking universe entirely. If they were using atomic energy in their devices, a cheesy cracker 
would be just as effective as a magnet. By the way, I found this under the bed um, about a week ago. I have no idea how long it's been under there. I assume the longer it sits under the bed, the more energy it contains, I suppose. I'll let you know when it starts radiating uh, alpha particles. This, I hope, addresses the two specific um, complaints and the meta complaint that I tenaciously grasp wrong beliefs. Show me I'm wrong. I'll admit it. What the fuck is a problem?